Okay, so this is the uh, workflow behind that uh, new starter form. Anyone can start the form. If there's uniforms, it'll go to Utilizer to be able to then have your input. So that's where you'll put in the date and any comments around the issue of those uniforms. If there's no uniforms, it'll skip that step. If emails are required, Katie is to put in um, the date they're supplied or any IT assets are supplied. If not, it'll go straight to the director's approval. Then up to HR for acknowledgement. So just to recap, if there are uniforms, the intent is um, for that information to go through Utilizer and then we can manage it from there. Happy for that to come back through here if we want to get a, a pile of um, uniforms in-house. It's just so that there's a central repository. People understand what happens. I suppose the other thing to add here is that uh, HR will keep a record and an inventory of all of the assets, um, whether it be a laptop, a uniform, an email, venue keys, passwords. Um, so each will have a, you know, will know exactly which employees has what information so that in the event that we have to offboard them, we know to chase them for keys or to change safe codes or to get uniforms back, that sort of thing.